Hello. I'd say good morning or, or good evening, but I don't know exactly what time you're clicking on this, what time you're, you're taking. And do you take the same time every day? Or is this, is this the first time you've ever tried this? However you've come here, our hope is that you find blessings in this day. And in this day, when this is recorded in Minnesota, the, the colors, just look at them. And you can see, can you see the stripe in this tree and how the colors are coming? And, and, and over in this one, how it's, it's moving from right on up to left. This reading from Galatians, you, you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are, you are God's heirs. And God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. In this reading, it happens every fall. The leaves begin to change, bright yellows and golds, glorious reds, even glowing oranges and purples take place of all the green. You may know how this happens. You may know that the trees are getting to rest for winter. All spring and summer, the leaves have been busy processing energy through the chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll gives the leaves the green color. And the yellows in the oranges are in the leaves too, but the green hides them. In the fall now, as our days grow shorter and cooler, the food, the energy that the leaves have been making, the chlorophyll and the green, it disappears. And the yellow and the oranges show through. Other chemical changes happen in trees and that's how we get all these amazing shades of red and purple. When we look around this fall, we know and we can see how much God loves colors and brings out beauty. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for the vibrant colors showing in the world around us. And we thank you, dear God, for for the beauty you bring out in all the different people and all the different personalities around us. Help us to remember that each one is your prized creation. And help us, dear God, to enjoy all your prizes. Through Christ Jesus, amen. God bless you.